Hello, I'm Francis, a cloud engineer here at AWS Office in Dublin. Today, I'll show you how to resolve the IAM error. AWS was not able to validate the provided access credentials. Let's get started. This error can occur when you assume an AWS identity and access management role, and then make an API call to service endpoint in certain opt-in AWS region, such as Bahrain. The issue is caused by the version of session tokens. The AWS Security Token Service supports two versions of session tokens, version 1 and version 2. By default, opt-in regions accept only version 2 session tokens. Session tokens that you receive from the global AWS SDS endpoint are version 1 by default. And these tokens work only in regions that are set version 1 tokens. To resolve this issue, you have two options. Option one, get token from a regional STS endpoint. Here's how to get token from a regional endpoint using the AWS command line interface. Or you can use the AWS SDK for Python. Option two, change the region compatibility for the global endpoint. By default, the global STS endpoint issues version 1 tokens, but you can configure the endpoint to issue version 2 tokens that are compatible with all regions. Here's how to change regional compatibility for the global endpoint through the console. In the AWS Management Console, go to the IAM console. Then select Account Settings. Here you see the STS Settings page. Under Global Endpoint, choose All AWS Region. And now tokens from the Global Endpoint would work across all regions. Note that this change can affect systems that temporarily store tokens because of the increased token length. So now you know how to resolve the IAM error. AWS was not able to validate the provided access credentials. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing.